In this video we will see how to use IDS on your Wi-Fi network. For this first you have to configure your network so that IDS server and uh, your Wi-Fi connected system can communicate with each other. Your server files should be accessible. If you have any issue with connecting your server to Wi-Fi connected system then you can contact me through Instagram and uh, I'll try to fix your issue. So now in case if your LAN and Wi-Fi network is separate then check your IDS server LAN port. If server have two LAN ports then there is no issue. Just connect one LAN cable from your Wi-Fi network switch to IDS server second LAN port and uh, manually assign an IP which you are using on your Wi-Fi network. That's it. So first I'll show you that IDS is running through LAN network. So let's go to our laptop. Okay, this is my laptop. So here you can see currently it's connected through LAN. Okay. Hmm. First I'll show you that IDS is running through LAN network. So it's connected with the LAN network. Let me check uh, server files is accessible or not. So Windows R, enter the server name, in my case it's a IDS server, enter, here you can see a server file is accessible. So let's open the IDS, now it's open, just enter username and password. Okay, on LAN network it's working properly, there is no issue. I'm going to close the IDS and now I'm going to disconnect LAN and connecting through Wi-Fi. Let's connect. So let me first enable the Wi-Fi and uh, here my router is this this one ok let's connect it and disconnect LAN cable LAN has been disconnected and currently it's connected to the Wi-Fi ok as you know to use IDS on a client PC your server shared files need to access with server name if server shared files is being accessed only with server IP then IDS on run on client PC. So let's access shared files through server name. In my case, my server name is IDS server. So IDS server and hit enter. Server files has been accessed. Uh, let's open the IDS. Maybe when you open uh, it will ask for authentication then just enter the server credential and it will open ok I have already saved the credential that's why it's open directly so let's open the IDS here you can see I am connected to Wi-Fi ok this one so let's open the IDS Okay, yeah, it's open. So let's uh, enter the user ID and password. Yeah, IDS has been opened. Okay, so that's all in this video. If you have any issue related to connecting your LAN and uh, Wi-Fi network so you can contact me through Insta in next video I'll show you how to use IDS software from anywhere through VPN okay so that's all in this video